welcome back. Today's video is in partnership with Revlon, so huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. They inspired me to create this makeup look right here, which I love. It features the satin skin trend that's really big in 2022. And if you don't know what satin skin is, it's that middle ground between a matte finish and a dewy finish, which I think is actually my favorite and I love because you get this natural glowy finish, but it's also matte in places where you need it to be, which for me as a combo skin girl, um, is perfect. This look is also inspired by Pantone's color of the year, which is very peri, a periwinkle shade. I think this look is perfect for spring. I love one color shadows like this. It's really simple, but packs such a punch and it's bright, it's eye-catching. Let me show you how easy it is to create this look. I'm gonna start by prepping my face. I'm gonna use the Revlon Rose Glow Face Gloss. This is going to help give my skin a little bit of hydration and that really nice glow. I'm gonna apply this more towards the outside areas of my face, so I'm kind of avoiding the T-zone. I have combination oily skin, so it gets super oily down here. I'm just gonna bring it down my neck too because it feels really refreshing. <laughs> I'm gonna do another layer of the rose glow right over my cheekbone area because I want it to have that extra glow and highlight there. I've also been loving pulling my hair back and just having sleeker hairstyles, so I threw it up in this ponytail. So for my T-zone, I'm actually gonna use a different primer. This is totally an extra step, um, but I want to control the shine that happens in my T-zone area. I get really shiny here and oily throughout the day. So I'm gonna use the Revlon Colorstay Grip Matte Primer. So I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna spread it a little bit out towards the sides of my nose because I also get a little bit oily there. And also right here. I'm gonna do my brows next, and for my brows, I'm gonna use the Revlon Colorstay Semi-Permanent Brow Ink. I'm in the shade Dark Brown. On the end of the brush, there's actually a little spoolie. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of brow gel on the spoolie and spread it across my eyebrows. I'm just gonna brush them up and then sweep it across like this. For dewy and natural skin looks, I just love a fluffy brow. I think they just go really nicely together. Okay, now we're gonna use the brow ink. Just gonna shake this up. I just filled it in really softly. And now for this bottom part right here, I'm gonna do some hair strokes because that's where our hair never grew back for me. Okay, so here are the brows. I love how they turned out today. Next, I'm going to move on to my base. I'm gonna use the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Concealers. First, I'm going to take the Universal Neutralizer shade and just apply that to my under eye. This is going to help brighten that under eye area. Blend that in. You can also use your fingers if you want to. Next, I'm gonna go in with my shade 030 and go right over that under eye area. I'm also going over the spots that need a little bit more coverage, some hyperpigmentation, and then just blend it out with the brush. Using a lightweight concealer with good coverage is a fast way to get that satin skin finish because you're using a really light layer, you're not using foundation, it's not too heavy. My skin still feels like skin. I can still see my freckles peeking through, which I love, but it still covers up some of the hyperpigmentation and dark spots that I have, and I feel super glowy. Next, I'm going to set my face just a little bit, not too much. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Blot Matte Setting Powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit on this brush. And you can tap off the excess into this little pan. I'm gonna go down the center of my face in the T-zone area where I get the most oily and then just pat it here too. I'm also just going to take a little bit down here. This is going to help the bronzer and blush that I wanna apply later. It's just going to help it blend a little bit easier. Now moving on to the eyes, we're gonna go for that periwinkle shade, the Pantone color of the year. I have two palettes here from Revlon. These are their color stay palettes. I have 920 and 940. I see a purple shade in each of these palettes that I can use to create that periwinkle color. We're gonna take this light purple shade first and apply that all over the lids. And then for the edges, we'll lighten it up by taking a fluffy, clean brush and just blending it outwards. So next, I'm going to take the 920 palette. There's also a really pretty purple shade right here on top that I wanna add to the center of my eyes. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just dab in the middle and blend it out. 
I want to wing out this look just a little bit so I'm pulling a little bit of that eyeshadow out into a V shape right there. Now we're going to move on to mascara. I'm using the So Fierce Eyes Wide Open mascara. The wand on this mascara is so cool. It's got this twisted design and I love that it's not one of those fluffy brush mascara wands. It makes combing through my lashes a lot easier. Look at the difference that made. I'm having second thoughts about winging out the end of my eyeshadow so I want it to be more rounded so I'll show you how I change that. I just take a little bit of the Skin Awaken concealer on the back of my hand, take a little brush like this and just pick some up and then you just brush it on like that and I'm gonna blend it into my skin, get rid of that little V that I created and just do a more rounded eyeshadow look i think that would just be more cute for spring like less angled more soft and building it up into this round shape you can always go back and blend out those edges to soften it up again okay now we're gonna move back and finish off the rest of the face i'm gonna use the revlon skin lights prismatic bronzer in the shade sunlit glow take a little bit of that and i'm gonna apply it up high like right here we're gonna apply it really high up to lift everything have you all seen that trend on tiktok where they show you where to apply your bronzer and it's like up here we're kind of doing that i used to apply my bronzer down here and i had already thought i applied it higher but that trend made me do it even higher and i was like i don't have any room for my blush and my highlight and so i just ended up piling up everything but it gives this really nice overall like glowy look so i don't mind it i actually really like it i'm also going to apply it to my forehead so we're just gonna brush it down like this i love this bronzer because it's really soft and really blendable very easy to work with and then i'm just gonna use this big brush and go down my nose because i'm not trying to contour really just add some some glow now I'm going to highlight with Revlon's skin lights prismatic highlighter and this is in the shade daybreak I'm gonna use my fingers for this and go down my nose it gives it a really nice soft glow it's not too heavy like that skin to skin warmth helps to blend it in and give it that satiny look for blush I'm gonna use Revlon's powder one in the shade marvelous I'm gonna go right above where I put the bronzer shade just go in light tapping motions and then also bring it a little bit right here close to the shadow so after I'm done applying it to the high points of my face with whatever's left on the brush I'm just gonna lightly tap here in the center not too much. Now to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with a gloss. I actually had a little bit of this on earlier. This is Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss in the shade Supernatural. And it's this really pretty pink nude shade that I think will go really well with this look. I'm gonna set my makeup now with the Colorstay Lock Setting Mist Spray. So there you have it. This is the final look, a satin skin periwinkle eye that's perfect for spring. If you want to try to recreate this look for yourself, I will leave all of the Revlon products down below in the description box. Thank you so much to you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!